3,000 persons assembled. It was a quiet meeting, and as storm clouds gathered and the hour grew late, the crowd dwindled to a few hundred. A detachment of 800 policemen showed and up, advanced on the speaker's platform, ordered the crowd to disperse. Evacuate this building. A bomb then exploded in the midst of the police, wounding 66 policemen, of whom seven later died. Conspiracy theorists believed it was to be the work of the police in order to spark violence. The police fired in the crowd, killing several people, wounding 200. The police jailed eight anarchists who organized the protest, though they were not there that day. They were sentenced to death. The actual bomber was never found. The result was a short-term suppression of the workers' rights movements. However, in the long term, the deceased protesters were made into martyrs. The people of Illinois elected a new governor who denounced the protesters' responsibility and pardoned the leaders. Even today, we can see the effects of the government's attempt to suppress the movement and the people's power to invoke change. <laughs>